it was a gradual uh, marveling in the behavior of our moving around on the surface. Uh, it was just so remarkable that this uh, ordinary um, uh, surface with little uh, things sticking up, but it, but it sort of looked like uh, uh, regular dirt on the surface, uh, or sand, real fine, um, but it wasn't flat like it had been washed up. Um, but what happened when you put your foot on it or anything else, it, uh, it made such a, uh, a compact replication of, of what the bottom of the boot tread was, and it was just remarkable uh, to me anyway that, that this surface would, would do that. Uh, and all over the place, and early on when, when I did have the camera from taking pictures of something else, uh, I decided, well, now's the time uh, to really take a good picture of this. So uh, I picked a spot that was uh, fairly uh, unobstructed, uh, took a before and put my foot down and took an after. Uh, I'm sure I could have done it three or four times and picked the best one, but I <laughs> felt, okay, you got one chance, that's it. Uh, but then it looked a little lonesome, and uh, so that's why I, I did another one, on another place that showed the edge of the boot print, but it did show uh, a boot close to it, so you'd get the impression. Uh, and turns out that the lonely boot print is the more popular one. Uh, that's what, what this is. <laughs> and nothing official uh, was ever made of that. It could have been that only those people who landed and walked on the moon would wear these, but no. <laughs>